So this turned out very well. Welcome back to the channel everybody. It's me dad again. We're gonna do another random video today and I decided that Ethan's gun, he's got a Mossberg 702 Plinkster. It's kind of plain. We got some camo paint and we are gonna paint it today. So show them what it looks like now. So it, we painted it a long time ago like a green and it just doesn't look right. What do you think? What colors do you wanna go for? So we got four camo colors. I don't really know how we're gonna paint it. We're just gonna kinda of do it random. We're just gonna do the stock. We're not gonna do the barrel or the magazine. And it is clear. I've already cleared it before the video. So we gotta take the stock off and then we gotta take the the butt stock pad off. So it's just gonna be this right here. It's pretty easy to take these apart. Just a couple screws. I think it's four screws all together. Two there and then two on the back. Any specific designs you're looking for? Okay. All right, how about this? How about you start up Call of Duty and see if we can mimic one of their cameras? <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. Make it a Call of Duty gun. And Ethan knows never to put his finger on the trigger or point it at anybody. We have taught him all gun safety. We haven't shot this gun in a while either. I don't know when we're gonna shoot it, but. And just like that, we got it apart. Literally just a couple screws, really easy. Got the stock to work with. It's just a little chintzy plastic stock, but I figured it's cold out. So the colors we are using, a dark green, we have a lighter green, a tan and a brown. I don't know if we use this color, we'll probably just use these three, I think. But this just does, it just, when we painted it, this was supposed to be more of an OD green, but it's, as you can see, it's kind of like a, I don't know, just a really weird green. It's not the military look we were going for. Did you pick out your camo, which you wanted to look like? Yep. All right, let's see. Okay, so this is the camo, which is good. Black, tan, and green, those three colors. Thing is, we gotta paint it back to black. I don't know if my black actually works. But he, do you like the battle-worn look? It looks all battle-worn, so it looks like black's on the bottom, then green, then tan. So we've decided to do something similar. We're gonna start with the brown, paint the whole rifle brown, and then do stripes of like green and tan, and kind of blend them together. And then we're gonna take sandpaper at the end, scuff it up, make it look a little batter worn. So it's gonna be like a striped type camo. Sound like a plan? Yeah. So I'm thinking since we don't have black, we're just gonna start with brown, paint the whole thing brown, and then come back with the greens and tans and, and spray lines into them, yep. almost like stripe. And then we'll take some sandpaper and rough it up and see how that looks. Does that work? Yep. All right. But currently we're waiting for the garage to warm up because the garage is only 32 degrees. It's negative two outside. The garage stays about 20 to 30 degrees warmer than the house or than outside. It is way too cold out there to try to paint anything. And the cans are still really cold. They were sitting out there. So I gotta let kind of everything warm up a little bit. It shouldn't be hard to paint. We're just doing a quick little paint job on it. Just, it's just something to do, a little fun project. Okay, and to do like a mesh look, which I just uh, found this stuff. It's something like some sort of tape that I just had in the garage. So what I can do is I can paint the dark colors first and then do the opposite color stripes in the squares. It almost almost should give it like a cryptic look, which would actually look pretty cool. So I'm gonna let the garage warm up and then we're gonna start with the base coat. that dry all right we're gonna let that dry and then we're gonna start painting some uh, cool stripes on it so we got the brown on there we essentially just painted the whole thing just the brown and I'm thinking maybe like some stripes going different ways to break it up and then we'll come back with the mesh okay it's taking forever to dry I wait about 20 minutes still wet so we're just gonna paint over it I'm gonna go ahead and start the stripes we're gonna do tan and dark green so really start making it start look a little bit more camo so that's the next steps now there is really no wrong or right way to paint it you just kind of kind of go whichever way you want to go on this thing all right now we're gonna go with the tans maybe one like that one there like so one up there Pretty good, maybe one like right there a little bit. Like I said, you can't really mess it up. There. Let's try 
drive right there. One. That should look, oh, that's pretty good. It's like we'll stencil it. So this will get like a brown and green stencil. This will get a tan. So do the light on the dark and the dark on the light. And it should blend it pretty good. Again, this is just something to do. I think it's going to turn out good. But we got to let this dry fully. So we'll, we'll get back out of here in a little while. All right, so this is what it looks like so far. It is dry to the touch. So it doesn't have to be perfect. It's going to be like a battle-worn thing. But the plan is, is to kind of put this over as like a mesh. So something like this, what this tape is to be honest. Okay, it's gonna look something like this on both sides and it will give like a mesh pattern. It's gonna look cool, I think so anyways. So we're gonna see how this turns out, but we're gonna get to spraying. I'm gonna flip it over and then we're gonna spray and see what it comes out to look like. This is about what it's gonna look like. It just, it's gonna give it a mesh pattern. I know it looks kind of silly right now, but what we're gonna do to spray the lights over the darks and the darks over the lights. So we'll, we'll see how this goes. Okay, so now I'm gonna go with tan over the browns. There. 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 A little bit down there. One brown there. Okay, and then for the other tans, green there, green there. You just kind of find where you want to spray. There's a tan, so we'll do maybe green, and then maybe a little green there. Brown. And then we're gonna to top it off with a light, with a light green. Green, we'll just kind of spray there. All right, let's say it looks pretty good. We'll get everything peeled off and see how it looks. back together so I'll see you here in about two seconds because this thing only takes like 10 seconds to put together so it's great but I can't do it on YouTube because they frown upon that so I'll we'll throw it back together and show you the final finished product and we'll do a before and after comparison this thing looks so good so you can see the before and after of these and this thing turned out very good I'm, I'm really happy with it especially since it didn't cost anything because i already had everything so if you have a boring plain gun laying around throw some spray paint on it make it your own it's just a random video that i decided to do on a random sunday because again there's not much going on it's cold and kind of crappy but let's go get ethan and see his reaction what do you think He knows how to handle it. He knows to keep his finger off the trigger. It's his little plinking gun. What do you think of the camo job? Uh, I like a little You like the stripes? Yeah. It's like a cryptic camo, huh? Thank you for making it this far in the video. Like, comment, subscribe. This is the channel of random things. We do completely random things. You're just following the family. So thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next one.